Spiro Halloween 2nd 2023 holiday release animatronic has arrived. Collector's Minion. Let's talk about it. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunts, and welcome to a very exciting video because Spiro Halloween has released a second 2023 holiday release animatronic well ladies and gentlemen just over two weeks ago spirit put out their flashback version of demonica on the spirit halloween website as the holiday release of this season and we thought that was it because for the last three years all the way back since 2020 spirit has released a holiday release animatronic each november so when demonica came out we thought that would be the only holiday release but it seems that spirit has thrown us a curveball for the 2023 season because earlier today a brand new animatronic dropped on the spirit website and youtube channel and it is none other than the collector's minion this guy has been leaked for a couple of months now but we have not seen him in his full glory until earlier today so i guess let's dive into the second holiday release for spirit halloween 2023. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me correctly. The second holiday release for this season is Collector's Minion, a smaller version of the Spiro Halloween 2019 Collector animatronic that was manufactured by Party Time. And I'm going to say right now, yes, this guy is technically a young version of the Collector, just like we saw for 2022 with Young Crouchy. Now, I have to say right now, and I want to preface my video by saying this. Obviously, I was not a big fan at all of Young Crouchy, and I know I was not the only person saying that. Young Crouchy was one of the least favorite animatronics for the 2022 season, so you're probably expecting that I'm going to say Collector's Minion, basically a young version of Collector. You're probably expecting I'm going to say that I do not like this animatronic. Well, I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised by the stock photos and the stock video that we are seeing for Collector's Minion, and I have to say, you're probably going to be surprised by this, I'm actually a big fan of the collector's minion yes i know very very shocking for me to say this and i'm not gonna lie it's pretty shocking for me to hear myself saying that because as someone who really disliked young crouchy as much as i did back when we heard that the collector would be getting a young prop as an online only i was kind of thinking along the same lines and thinking that i would not enjoy this animatronic however like i said upon seeing this guy's stock videos and stock photo this morning i have to say that he's gotten on my good side and there are a bunch of reasons for that that i am going to get into right now first of all i have to point out with this guy's look he actually is pretty different from the way that the collector from 2019 looked in general appearance first of all one of the biggest differences between collector's minion and the collector from 2019 a lot of people are pointing this out is the blood that collector's minion has he has some blood going on uh, on his general outfit kind of on his chest he also has some blood on his hands along is on his jaw and also on the burlap sack that he's carrying it's a simple change but one that makes a very big difference because the original collector from 2019 did not have any blood so this guy having as much as he does does make him look a little bit different not even a little bit different i'm gonna say a lot different and that's one of the reasons why i enjoy this guy i'll touch on this again in a little bit but it's because he does have a different look from the original collector another thing going along with the look of collector's minion is the skull head that he has it is slightly different from that of the original collector animatronic and honestly I'm not even exactly sure what makes it different but there's something about that sculpt that looks slightly off from what the original animatronic was however that is a very good thing in my opinion because it's yet another feature for collector's minion that makes him unique and stand out from the original animatronic and avoid that look that he was just a reorder at a smaller size now i have to say one of the main reasons that i think this guy is a good animatronic and i didn't think that young crouchy was a good animatronic is the things that i just mentioned the fact that collector's minion is unique in his own way and stands out ever so slightly from the original 
original animatronic. The addition of blood and slight change to the sculpt of the head makes him almost feel like his own prop, and Young Crouchy did not feel like that. With Young Crouchy simply being a reorder of the original animatronic, he seemed very much like a cop-out on Spirit Todd, and I know a lot of people were saying that just because he had no visible differences other than the LED eyes from the original animatronic. What we're seeing on Collector's Minion is a kind of very different look with that blood and with the slightly different head, and even though those differences aren't so incredibly major to the character, they make a big difference and they make him stand out from the original animatronic, which is what's making me enjoy this prop. Now this guy's animation is simple, but that is totally fine because it's taken from the original animatronic with a side to side moving torso, a moving mouth, and some red LED eyes thrown on there. I think the animation fits very well for this small version of Collector. Obviously, it's the same animation since this guy was a young prop. There wasn't a ton of options for Spirit and Party Time, his manufacturer, to give to this Collector's Minion animatronic just because, of course, they were going to stay within the same realm that the original prop did. However, I think the animation fits the Collector's Minion very well. It gives him a little bit of movement without doing too much. I think the mouth movement on this guy in particular looks very, very good. I love how the entire jaw opens up and it's very visible. Some animatronics, the jaw tends to get stuck, at least in the stock video that we're seeing here. The mouth seems to be moving very frequently and it looks very organic, which is great to see, especially on a smaller animatronic um, to be given such awesome mouth movement. Now, of course, I have to talk about the audio that Collector's Minion has and I am happy to say that they have given him a brand new set of audio. Again, something they didn't do with Young Crouchy. He has completely original lines and a brand new voice actor to go with this animatronic. And I do have to say I was very surprised when I turned on his video for the first time and watched it through simply because this is not the voice that in my head I expected to hear from Collector's Minion. Your flesh will feed the great evil. <sighs> Your soul will quench its thirst. Obviously, he is a young, small prop, so it makes sense for him to have a high-pitched voice like he does, but for some reason, it's just kind of different from what I thought it was going to sound. However, that is not a bad thing. I don't think the audio is bad whatsoever. I think the audio is actually very good. I also like his lines because they are written in a very similar format and style as to what Collector's audio sounded like back in 2019. I know a lot of people have been making the connection that Collector's Minion sounds a lot like the Crypt Keeper, and I am definitely on that same page. You can hear a little bit of Crypt Keeper um, in, this guy, uh, in this guy's phrases as well, but again, it kind of works with the character. He's supposed to be kind of like a Grim Reaper in a way, so I feel like a little bit of Crypt Keeper does not mean uh, any bad for the animatronic, but nonetheless, like I said, I like that he has some new original phrases because that's something that collect uh, Young Crouchy didn't have, and once again, I think the phrases are good, and once again, help tie in that he is connected to the collector. Now, the part everyone is going to want to hear, what is the retail price of Collector's Manion? And I can officially say that he will be retailing online only for $149.99, 150 United States dollars. Now, I know the community is very split over this price tag, whether they think it's fair or whether they think it's not fair. And I am here to say, in my opinion, I honestly think that 150 is not a bad price for Collector's Minion. Now, the reason I say that is kind of based on our last holiday release, of course, Demonica, the flashback of Demonica. She is retailing for that same price tag of 150 bucks, and obviously Collector's Minion is standing at four feet tall. So I have to say 150 bucks for a four foot animatronic with side to side movement, with LED eyes, and with mouth movement. I don't think there's a lot to complain about there, and I'm not entirely sure why people are complaining about it, because Demonica, again, was also 150 bucks, and she actually is a little bit smaller in terms of height. I know when she rises up, she gets taller, but four feet tall is a little bit bigger for the collector's minion. So honestly, I think they are kind of one in the same. I said Demonica was good for her price tag, and I think collector's minion is also good for his price tag. Obviously, you can use a 20% off code online to get this guy's price tag down even a little bit more, and I feel like at that, if you can get him down to like 130 bucks, I feel like that definitely would be worth it, because again, he's you're getting a four-foot prop with a bunch of movement thrown in there, so I feel like it is worth 
worth that price tag and while some people are saying he's not honestly I think 150 bucks is fair and then the fact that his name is collector's minion that is just absolutely perfect I love that spirit was able to tie in spirit lore with this animatronic keeping the storyline going and now giving collector his minion that he promised us he had all the way back in 2019 but in my opinion collector's minion covers all the bases and I am so surprised to be saying that for a young animatronic. I don't know yet if I'll be picking this guy up. I'm kind of on the fence about it. There is definitely a chance that I do pick him up. There's also a chance that I don't pick him up. But nonetheless, I do think he's a good animatronic. Um, I think that it was great that Spirit was able to give him some differences, tie in some Spirit lore, and give us another holiday release as a surprise for 2023. But I guess, members always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. Ask us in for more Spiro Halloween 2024 videos. Goodbye.